of mine. One is actually my, my former student and good friend. This is Danny Culler. And we're here with Art Nace, who is uh, sitting uh, off camera uh, because we don't have a very big room. <laughs> uh, but we're here to, to demonstrate uh, a couple of Art's newest amps. Um, you may have seen, I've done some videos in the past uh, with Art's amps. I, I really, really like these Nace amps. In the past, I've played the M, uh, the 7 watt, the M27R or M37R. And uh, what I am very excited about today is uh, I got a hold of his newest one, the M118R. So it's uh, the M1, it's, it's model one, it's an 18 watt amp uh, clean. Uh, what that means is as long as you're not clipping it, you're running about 18 watts. But as soon as you push everything and it starts clipping, you can actually get 30 or 40 watts out of this thing. It's, it's pretty slamming. And uh, it does have reverb, hence the R. So this is a pirate amp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, what I uh, what I want to do is, um, Danny was was just noodled it a little bit there for you. Uh, just talk about you know some of the things uh, that that you might really dig about this amp. First of all, um, probably one of the coolest things. Let me get out of the way. Is it's a nice little one twelve combo. This guy here has a um, Eminence Legend speaker. This one here has a Celestian Vintage 30. Uh, they actually sound very, very similar um, regardless. I am currently plugged into the purple one because I like the purple one. And that's kind of the, the tone you get out of that. That's with the Eminence Legend noodle a little or something. There's the vintage 35. I think he's a little louder. I'll turn up a little bit. So there you go. That's that's you know they're they're actually really uh, similar in tone. I think I like the legend just a smidgen more. I'm just I'm just throwing that out yeah. there. But there it's a it's a really subtle difference. I personally, however. Uh, I'm not a, a Vintage 30 user in general, so uh, that might be, I might be predisposed to liking the Legend Plus sound. Plus it's purple. I mean. uh, yeah, it really, it's because it's, it's purple, and that makes it cool. <laughs> so, um, you know, they're pretty they're pretty straightforward amps. Uh, there's a reverb, a reverb control, bass and treble, master and gain. Um, there's hardly a bad setting on it. I mean, you can have a little bit less bass. You could have more treble. That clearly wasn't treble. Yep. <laughs> Actually, that was, your, uh, that, was your that was the master volume. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> I, can't, I can't quite see it from this angle. More treble. But, you know, as with all of, of the Nace amps, what I like about them is that the controls are very usable. Even in extreme settings, they don't hurt. <laughs> They're not. They're yeah, not damaging. Make it sound worse. Yeah, you know. it's it, you can't get a bad sound out of it, really. So um, anyway, I'm you know we're just we're here kind of noodling today. I know this is very impromptu, and we're just kind of winging it because this is the first time we've we've had a chance to to play these amps. Um, I I had the prototype uh, many months ago, and I really really dug it and had some suggestions uh, that that have definitely been incorporated and then some. Uh, it, it's really a, a fantastic sounding amp. We both really dig it. Yeah. So we're not really going to talk too much about it. They're really cool. They sound really great. They, uh, they're they a nice, clean tone. I'm, I'm not going to... You can dine the gain out, you know, if you leave the master under control. You know, you can you can get some uh, some oomph out of it. I'm, I'm trying not to break out the mics too bad. Start to bite a 
light. If yeah. I were to crank up this master volume, it does the job. Yeah, we yeah. we hurt we'd hurt ourselves, um, and the mics would all go, and it wouldn't sound really pretty. So I, I'm not gonna do that right now. But. So one other before we play, one other little cool tech thing with this is the flux capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to say that the flux the flux capacitor Baxen doll filter. Thank you. I <laughs> I couldn't remember oh, the name yeah. of it. So. The, that kind of that kind of thing with the uh, you can tell I'm 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 a real techie guy I know I'm I'm making it really obvious right now but the EQ settings what's really cool it's it's not completely passive it, it, you can actually boost and cut low and high and what's what really is cool out of this is um, you know if you crank the bass up that's not going to come through small speakers but you feel it, you know, these amps are not loud, we can talk over them, and you can still feel the low end. So when you're playing at home, you have a, a really wide range of controls, and, and even more than you probably need. Yeah, way way more than you really need. Where is that? There it is, bass. Boss. That's all warm and woolly right there. Yeah, right? You know, it is, you know like, that I mean. That tone is giving you a hug. It is. <laughs> It wraps its arms around you. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, right? So anyway, we're obviously not doing anybody any favors with our talking, so let's just play and uh, let people go. I'll just do a little blues. Sounds good. 